Hi everyone, in this video we will do four questions about the rectifier. Uh, one question for half-wave rectifier and two for four-wave rectifier. And the last one is for active rectifier using thyristors. And all the questions related to do the simulation. Uh, don't worry, I've already built all the simulation model in Simulink. And you can download the Simulink model using the link I put in the description box. So when you do the questions, you can download the model, change the value, and do the practice um, as you want. So let's do the first question together. The first question is about the half-wave rectifier. It has an input of 120 volts and frequency is 60 Hz and the average value of the output is 165 dc. So we know that the average V out is Vm minus delta V out divided on 2. Then we can calculate delta V out using Vm minus average output voltage times 2. 120 is the RMS value, so we need times the square root of 2 minus 165 times 2 equals to 9.41 volts. And the second question is um, ask us to determine the capacitance at the DC side. So the capacitance is calculated using average V out divided on delta V out R times frequency equals to 165 divided on 9.41 times 225 times 60. And we have our capacitance is 1.3 millifarads. This is our half wave rectifier. We have all the values setting as the question requires. Um, after running the simulation, we can see that this is our output current and this is our uh, output voltage. And we can see that the very big current spike on the input side. So this is the result of our simulation for question one. The second question is about a four-way rectifier. We still have the input as 120 volts and 60 hertz. The output is still 165 volts DC with a load as 225 ohm. So the question one also asks us to calculate the delta V out. Same way the first question, we can we know that our average V out is equal to V out minus delta V out divided on 2. So our delta V out can be calculated as Vm minus average V out times 2 equals to 120 times square root of 2 minus 165 times 2 equals to 9.4 the second question is find the capacitor and we can use this 165 divided on 2 times 9.41 times 225 times 60 and we have 648 microfarads. So we have half size of capacitor as we talked in last video. Uh, this is the simulation model for question two. We only have one capacitor to smooth the output voltage. And after run this model, we can have a look. So as we talked in the last video, we can see that if we only have a capacitor to do the filtering, we have very big current spike at the input side. Um, but we can very good smooth the output voltage. Our third question is to design a four-way rectifier with LC filter. 
and we have the same specification for the input and we got the template eight um, resistor and the peak to peak voltage value of VR is 2% of the average value. The first question asks us to determine the average value of output voltage and the delta V out. So the average output voltage is equal to 2 mm by delta on pi. And we can have 2 times 120 times square root of 2 divided on 3.14. We have 108.09 volts. And our delta V out is 2 cents of our average output voltage. So we have 2 cents times 108.09 equals to 2.16 volts. And the second question is determining the average value of output current. Our average value of output current equals to 2 mm divided on pi times r, and we have 2 times 120 times square root of 2 divided on 3.14 times 10.8. We have 10 m. Third question is when the peak to peak ripple of inductor current is specified as 4 m. Uh, determine the inductance used for the current filter, used for the current filtering. L can be calculated by Vm divided on 14.92 delta I times frequency equals to 120 times square root of 2 divided on 14.92 times 4 times 60 equals to 47.4 mini Henry. Uh, the fourth question is to design the capacitance. So the capacitor is equal to delta I divided on 4 pi F times delta V equals to 4 divided on 4 times 3.1 60 times 2.16 equals to 12.5 millifarads. The fifth question is ask us to determine the critical load condition for the VCM. So our R critical is equal to 4 mm divided on delta I times equals to 4 times 120 times square root of 2 divided on 4 times 3.14. We can have 54 ohm of our, re of our critical resistance. This is our four-way rectifier with LC filter where the parameter is stated as we calculate. Um, and after we run this simulation, we can find that um, this dark blue waveform is our input current and the light blue one is our output current. And we can see our output voltage is modulated around 108. Last one is our THD value of uh, IDC. Our IDC is around 50 to 60. Uh, we also can use the FFT function to analysis our output current. Uh, if you, we use the FFT model, it gives us the THD value for this cycle is 45%. The last question is to design an active rectifier. So the input specification are the same with the last three rectifier, and we have a 10 ohm load. Uh, the average output voltage should be designed to 100 volts. So the first question is to determine the phase angle to delay the 
SDR condition in each half cycle. First, we know our average output voltage is equal to 3m divided on pi times 1 plus cosine alpha. So our alpha is by average 3l times pi divided on 3m minus 1. And we have 100 times 3.14 divided on 120 times square root of 2 minus 1 equals to uh, 0 0.5. 525 radians per second or 31.76 degree. And the second question is to determine the RMS value of the output voltage. Our RMS value of output voltage is calculated by M times square root of 1 divided on 2 minus alpha divided on 2 pi plus sine 2 alpha divided on 4 pi so we can have 120 times square root of 2 times 1 divided on 2 square root of 1 divided on 2 minus 0 0.5525 divided on 2 times 3.14 plus sine 2 times 0 0.5525 divided on 4 times 3.14 we can have our output RMS value of output voltage is 117.98 volts and the third question is determine the active power in the nominal load condition uh, so we have our power is equal to RMS W square divided on R is 117.98 square divided on 10. We have 1.39 kilowatts. This is our four way rectifier constructed by thyristors. All the parameters is set as we designed in our uh, calculation. Um, so let's run it. This is our simulation readout. Uh, the dark blue line is the input current and the light blue line is the output current. So yes, this is all about this video. Um, thank you for watching this video. We will meet in next.